Good morning, gamers. <clears throat> Metsu Fatum, thank you for the Hawaii 5 0 earlier this morning. Happy Monday. Gummy Pizza, thank you for the 57 months of hooking up that primer. Welcome back. Brickhouse Hamilton, appreciate the three quarters of a year. Life is good, coming in hot with the 15 months. And Fredwick, six years. That's like an entire first grader. Thanks for the, thanks for the 72 months. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Six years, gosh, that's like Hex, Tomoto, and back and all that jazz. So that, that six years is not quite Hex, right? I think that's magic online. Time is a lie. It's so, six years ago we were doing other stuff. I was like, nope, that was even longer ago than that. All right. Shall we dive on into some titillating prison gameplay? Hey, Vic is. Thanks for the quarter of a year. Welcome back. ex -comotive. Thanks for the third of a year. I finally got my Mary variant, chap. You don't realize how many mediocre, uh, mediocre ultimate variants there are until you're waiting for a specific one. I'm waiting on this till after I werewolf. I only want to, I don't like two, two wolves isn't really super useful. I don't want to clutter the board with that, I don't think. Perfect. Just like we drew it up. Oh, I forgot there's a feature location. So playing this to a face down is like, that's smart. Do I draw my cards or do I take my my guaranteed four? I, I want to draw with the with the limbo, especially. I think being resource efficient is a little bit less important here. Is this worthwhile? I think this, I think this might be the line, gamers. <clears throat> Wind aid my hand. I guess I... I guess I don't want werewolf and monster in the same place if they're getting shanged.
This pops two into the Craven. So they'll be four, nine. They need to move this as well. Let's go, let's go for this. It's probably fine. Unfortunately, I think we're likely dead here. So that's uh, that's a six drop, right? So we're gonna lose the right, and we're gonna lose the left. It's about it's hitting solidly on expectations for what the whole day is gonna feel like. Quasi, good morning. I did hit the Enchantress variant over the weekend with the split. And I had a few good ones over the weekend that we're going to play with today. So I got the Mary variant. I got the Enchantress split with gold with green crackle. I hit gold rainbow crackle on the beast. Uh, who else did I get? I split for, um, may have done some whaling over the weekend. We got gold on the She-Hulk. And what was, uh, what was the other one? Um, oh, I hit a, I hit a century. Shout out to the 21 out of the 84 YouTube viewers so far who hit the like button without me reminding them. The other 63 of you, I believe you could do it. Big drip, coming in hot with the two thirds of a year. Welcome back. Violet Journey, thank you for the four and a half years. Hey, what's going on, Mirok? Thank you for the 14 months for someone playing Sunspot on one. I'm gonna put this here. So that way, I don't have to put Lizard on the Onslaught Citadel. We're gonna snap that, right? The Lunch Man, thanks for the two months. Welcome back. Really chasing any content recording so we're gonna snap a little bit more aggressively today than we have been in at the end of last week when I was trying to chase some recordings down definitely need to eat the pig I think anytime you have a reasonable Nico draw set up in most decks that are playing her, you want to snap early. Thanks for the 47 months impromptu. 
Lost an 8-cuber to Darkhawk playing Goliath. Yeah, that's, that's fairly common these days, actually. Called that. I called that out in my best decks video that I wasn't specifically featuring a Darkhawk deck that had Goliath in it, but it was very common for that to be an inclusion. One kind of interesting thing I think to think about in terms of Marvel Snap stuff. I had some people asking me why Wind. Iron Lad I don't view as a problematic card. And I think in general, Iron Lad's current position in the metagame is largely a testament. Is largely a testament to the fact of how good Doctor Doom and Eliath are. Because there's like two just great cards to hit with it. The problem here is we're probably getting Sandman dead, so I have to leave. And by leave, I mean sign off and leave my home and go do something Escape. else because this is a Marvel Snap experience. All right, are we not laddering today? Maybe we'll just play Conquest today. Conquest, Conquest tends to be, Conquest tends to be a lot more casual. I only change numbers on Professor X. What do you do? I make him cost eight and have negative 12 power. I think that would fix most of my issues with him. Okay, thanks for the 15 months. Welcome back. Oh, snap. I'll snap aggressively inside of these silver conquest tickets. We'll just try we'll just try and color up our tickets today, basically. I think is I think is the plan. Our deck's just not a good bar sinister deck. I think they could have my ice man. Wind aid my hand. Born an ice man. I just take the opportunity to turn their Quinjet off. We're only tying here, but taking their uh, cost reduction away is good. this point. Escaped. Too long and showed too much of their hand before pressing the button. I'm going to snap aggressively just to continue to put cubes in, but we'll still retreat appropriately at the end, I think. We did we did get the god split on the whale enchantress.
I'm gonna storm the left simply because I they're a Shang-Chi deck. I would like to basically make them have Shang-Chi on curve here or make it be a non thing. The Shang Chi snap, right? So the spider ham doesn't go off, but we get to uh, we get to go ahead and pop the wolf over here. Did at this point, but honestly, after playing a couple of games with this deck, I'm kind of done playing it, so. The wolf will not come back out of deep space, no. We're taking it, Cuber, go next. The only one worried that uh, drops are happening too often. I mean, asking people to watch four to six hours of Twitch every once a month doesn't really seem like a terrible thing. We'll see. The whether or not things are too often is easily an objective, fairly objectively decided by uh, just looking at how the metrics play out over the course of the next couple. I don't think I don't think we have enough data one way or the other to really know. Well, they did just finish a drops campaign at the end of October. So this is like technically less than a month before they're doing another. It's definitely more often it's definitely more often than I was expecting them to do them. Negative Deadpool, though. I'm going to be honest. You're not going to see that many super outside-of-the-box brews on this channel, likely, for a little while. We're going to be a lot more tame in the range of things that I'm willing to play. The current metagame is not diverse, and it's not particularly interesting. So the range of things that I'm going to be able to play and not feel like I want to turn my stream off in frustration is much smaller than when the format is interesting and well-balanced. 
formats riddled by Professor X and Eliath are some of the worst Marvel staff has to offer. So far, we're batting 100% on playing against Loki and playing against Eliath this morning. I don't, I don't mind the Loki matchups, in all honesty. Well, I mean, the Galactus deck is a Professor X Eliath deck, generally speaking. The good builds of Galactus are, at least. Oh, and they just got to copy our demon, Sedge. Yeah, I'd rather, also would rather have 10 Lokis than a singular, singular other. Yeah, I, don't, I don't really mind Loki's gameplay. been a morning so far. It's been, uh, it's been a morning so far. I have, a feeling, I have a feeling there's gonna be a lot of mornings for the remainder of the month. Like, it's fine to, like, not enjoy the play patterns of Loki or whatever. That's subjective. But saying the deck list that has some of the most sequencing decisions and most points on how where you're supposed to play your cards and when you're supposed to play them, calling it, what was the quote here? The, the Loki is for lazy people is very silly. Yeah, I definitely wholeheartedly agree with that. The Loki experience is harder slash worse when you're also trying to keep up with prison decks on top of it. Ernie Ed, thank you for the 65 bucks. Welcome back. All right, we snap on, sorry, we snap last turn. I was say we snap on that one, but we already have that covered. Yeah, I, I've talked about this at length before, but I very much firmly believe a significant amount of the hate surrounding Loki is because most gamers have never built a reasonable, a reasonable card game deck in their lives, and it shows. Loki, Loki is a card that punishes poor deck building more than any other card in Marvel Snap. Do any of the upcoming cards change things? No, I don't think so. This month, this month is kind of a bunch of non-releases. Gladiator's just kind of this like awkward three. K 
Okay, bud. That's fine. I need to. Uh, I need to watch. Uh, I need to watch it at anyways. I need to watch it at anyways so we can bail on the person that's obviously ghosting. Oh, weird. They're waiting to lock in their plays again. Strange. I guess we lose because they can move the werewolf by dead around the board right freely since the void's still over here. All right. I'm going to take a two-minute ad break and try and reconnect. We're probably going to have shorter streams Escaped. over the course of until drops it. And I, I don't know. I'm not looking forward to drops this time around, Jet. It's going to be genuinely hard to play play this game for long periods of time the metrics will justify that we do it but i don't know very very hard to find fun slash joy in the game at the moment for me personally no there's not an ot update until december 7th we have a patch on the 28th but it's notable that patches don't really balance the metagame because they're locked in so far in advance like there's gonna be almost a month until anything changes No, I'm not doing viewer battles. It's bad content and it's too much waiting. Nobody wants to watch that. Glitchy, thank you for the 10 months. Welcome back. Appreciate it. You don't see the next OTA being able to dislodge prison. There's not an OTA until December 7th, Mr. Buck. Mr. Balog, that's what we're talking about. Sir Ots, thank you for the prime. Appreciate it. They dropped some of the upcoming OTAs because of the holidays. You talk about gladiators coming tomorrow and is he worth buying? Cards suck shit, not worth buying. Hopefully, hopefully I'm aggressively wrong. I would love to be aggressively wrong. I've got a surfer deck loaded up for what's his name, but let's let's be honest with ourselves. Releasing Gladiator into a metagame where in 20% of the matchups it has a chance to rip Eliath out of their deck and just like delete your 3-7, make it like shitty Yondu is like really bad. Yeah, I think I genuinely think the only decks that potentially want Gladiator are ones that are already playing Maximus. 
which is basically just Surfer. I don't know. A lot of, I think comparing what's his name to Doc Ock kind of misses the point a good deal. Um, a lot of, a lot of the strength that Dr. Octopus has is that it meaningfully disrupts, it meaningfully disrupts your opponent. And Gladiator resoundingly does not do that. super awkward here. They got nothing. Deal. I guess I guess they were subterranean. Here's your two rocks. Yes, Gladiator is not disruption. It's a risk reward downside. That's why it has a premium stat line. Is exactly correct. I can see Gladiator being okay in a Dark Hawk shell because you could pull rocks. Really? Tell me more about how your card that shrinks your Dark Hawk is good in the Dark Hawk shell. Oh dear. Oh dear, Twitch Cheddar. Tell me more. Tell me more. You get a 3-7. Yeah, you get a 3-7, but if it pulls two stats off your Dark Hawk, at that point, you might as well have just played a 3-5, right? Dota is for squids. Well, thanks for being a human and hanging out here. I read on Marvel Snap Zone that Gladiator fits to destroy. The number one thing to understand about the Marvel Snap Zone website is they are a platform for serving up adverts first and a Marvel Snap content site second. I think we need to play for all three because they have a 420. Unless they play it this turn, I can't Shadow King it. Yeah, Were Werewolf Surfer is the place I'm going to try Gladiator personally. With, uh, one, one place it might be okay. I believe we have died because we know they have a... We know they have a 420. Played well around the Shadow King. Rick Sen, thanks for the two thirds of a year. Welcome back. Appreciate it. chance there to hold Viper and Shadow King for a priority. There's a high chance they fill the right at that point, Edge. Is the, is the problem. Zabu in my lizard path is great because it means if we uh, peel the old enchantress, we can get rid of that while also 
turning off the downside on our lizard. Oh, it's a big, it's a big boy. I think in terms of tempo, I just need to century here, even though it kind of sucks to lose, uh, lose the void to hollow. Couldn't playing Shang-Chi and their Black Knight deserves to play into non-stop Loki. Couldn't have said it better myself. 100, 110%. These are the type of deck building choices that lead you to thinking Loki is too strong. Angle Ska Man. Thank you for the 11 months. Appreciate that. Welcome back. In nine years, I will be a shillionaire, I believe. Touche. Touche. Now, the good news here is I do... I did successfully duck priority... Which means I can Shadow King them in theory. No reason to compete here. We'll zero here at the end. Then they play 14 on the right, plus soak two, they go to 20 there. My wolf is plus six up to 50, and I'm at 21. <clears throat> that feels terrible. <sighs> well played opponent, but I played around Shadow King very well this match. Traction just was not good at any point. Games like that one are a good reminder of why if you want to win, you should just play the good decks like Loki. Like the opponent's deck was constructed in a way that it's going to lose to the top decks a significant amount of time by putting Shang-Chi in their deck full of Shang-Chi targets, but just kind of is, is what it is. I think I'm running out of bandwidth to be a punching bag. We might just be playing net decks, stock net decks here soon. Am I taking deck submissions today? No. Zero percent chance we do deck submissions. We're probably not doing deck submissions for another month. I only do deck submissions inside of Marvel Snap formats that are fun to play. Because getting, getting paid $10 to lose with a deck that chat thinks is playable is not a fun time. 
know, you know how like you see me losing with these decks that I'm loading up that I think might be kind of okay. The decks that chat's gonna send in are gonna be significantly worse than these ones. I have a good one for you. In the least offensive way possible. I don't believe you and I'm not taking next submissions. Do this. I've been doing this for a long time and um, in my copious amounts of experience doing deck submissions when a format is not fun as a quick way to turn the stream off. Ooh, that's a great draw. Well, do we think they can get more than 17 in the middle? Maybe we'll see. I might be able to play from left as well still. They're probably just leaving, right? Yeah. Victory. Yeah, Nico did go off. I have a second censure. I really want to destroy with Nico's draw, so it's gonna play on curve here. The downside to Samurai in this matchup is it makes their stature cost one if they hit it with Loki. Least likely to want to play to the sewer, so I'm gonna play Black Bolt in the sewer so we can try and uh we play priority here. No, their Dracula is an Agent Colson card.
They drew three cards from our deck. We're probably supposed to leave. list to play for these lockdown decks. I've got all of the best decks for your Eliath needs rounded up in this video here. Enjoy. Will they add shop rewards again? If so, will the stuff I already bought today count towards it? They said they'll be returning the spending rewards as a likely a monthly thing moving forward in December. But no, nothing you buy today will currently count towards those. Is this just like uh, I have Loki into the strict deck snap? Could be. All right, then we have to win the next one. I was going to ask in the Discord for a deck in Samurai Black Bolt deck. Well, to be fair, this deck is probably shit. So. Hold, hold your applause. We're definitely staying. Well, forge out. I don't know that I am. Is there anything that summarizes the Twitch chat experience more than literally saying the words, this deck is probably shit, and then someone immediately coming in and asking, is this deck winning good? <laughs> uh, yeah, I probably should have ended on Forge last turn. Think? 
Rugs. I just assumed they were rug pulling us. Just thought it was gonna be a snow guard rug pull. It's not, not that. Victory Agent gears. Play the game. It's a solid pickup for us. It means deck in we'll get to sixteen. Six and then twelve. Although it's worth noting here that they'll be able to have our Shang Chi. Is this uh, maybe a little problematic? Thanks for three quarters of a year, by the way. Engel Scott Man, thank you for the 11 months. Happy Monday, folks. What well, should have Cole said right in case they pulled Miles Morales to get an edge case to call out. weekend was when my wife and I went to go see Beetlejuice, so it was good. Considered drawing Jeff was our best draw after they sandbanded us. <sighs> oh. They have fifth, they have sixteen twenty three power. We have twenty four twenty six power. This adds seven. They could play Loki on the right. Yeah, that's true. But that's that's not a guarantee. And Loki on the right only puts Collector to uh, eight, so I can't check it. And this play plays around and beats them playing Chavez anywhere because I'm tied win-win. Oh, they can't Loki right. Yeah, good shout because of the Asteroid M. 
Yeah, so it's Peach Loki and it Peach Chavez. Thanks, Asteroid. Appreciate you. We were, we were beating the Chavez regardless of where they played it because we were win, draw, win. So we lose wherever they play her and then ultimately end up winning the breaker. Yes, you put it that actually playing CMA to their Loki deck. They got it from Egypt Coulson. All right, we finally won a match. I didn't think it could be done, but we managed. We managed to finally eke it out. You know what else I managed to eke out, chat? Two minutes of adverse. We'll see you in 120 seconds. Don't go anywhere. Watch it on the YouTube side. Don't forget to tap the like button. 216 viewers over there, only 87 button pressers. That's true. They didn't choose to play it. Was Carnage mid more power? Uh, Carnage mid would have only been six in the middle, which means I would lose to Chavez if the X-23 didn't go middle again. Good on, Papa Pros. Six to 11 months. Back for a week in India. Did I miss anything exciting? Uh, we had, they put Mobius back to ongoing, but he's still pretty unplayable. Check out the best decks video for current takes on things. Hey, Barty the Party. Thanks for the two thirds of a year. Welcome back. They did nerf Shang. That's true. Yeah. Holza. Thank you for the brand new primer. Strong guy is stronger guy now. Well, technically he has one point less power, right? Actually, actually. Surprise, Shang Chi's play rate is still so high after the nerf. Sh Shang Chi's nerf didn't functionally change how he plays against most of the best decks, man. All Shang Chi's nerf did was give Second Dinner an extra balancing knob on how many meaningful points of power they can give four, five, and six energy cards. Hey, good to have you here, Hellas. Yes, the Shang change was a tribunal buff, is accurate. You missed an untapped meta dive yet. There's a best decks video pinned above the stream. Vibin. Play and win. Thank you for the seven months. Welcome back. Getting the Ant Maze, a Forge deck. It is real good. Man Ace, thank you for the 13 months. Welcome back. Our poor Moon Girl Clutter deck highlight is bombing on YouTube this morning. That's so sad. 
Maybe gamers want to only play against Toxic Prison decks. Watch Toxic Prison decks get played. Does Clutter count as Toxic Prison? I'm not sure it does in a Professor X Men game, right? Maybe they don't want it. You don't want to play the bite right to make it more edible. Um, it's less edible if I play it right because Dak is likely to go there, huh? I played, I played around losing the 50-50 so I could play towards the center. Weird that I didn't get the new video and my recommendations like I usually do. Yeah, that's how YouTube works. Once uh, once a video starts bombing, they stop promoting it places. So you won't you won't see it in your recommendations because YouTube has likely decided after the first half hour that the video is going to die. How, how YouTube works is when a channel uploads a video, it sends out a notification to a very small number of subscribers, and then based on the click-through rate from those specific subscribers, it decides whether or not it wants to promote the content further. I mean, was it a good play to lose priority? I kind of wanted to have priority here, right? So I could shang the wolf before it jumps around the board. Playing the build with Shadow King. Sure. I don't want your deck suggestions today, chat. The metagame's kind of frustrating and I'm not in a great mood and none of your suggestions are going to make it better. Let me stew and figure out what I want to play before I just break down and copy a stock good deck.
constitutes a mute in your eyes. Did the emote have a bad vibe for my opponent? Then I'll mute their ass. What constitutes a bad vibe? I don't know. What's my current mood like? Like, anybody emotes me today, they're probably getting muted regardless of what the emote is, short of a Spider-Man point. Almost, almost any time you emote me after winning, your emote is almost automatically in bad faith that it's going to go ahead and get you a permanent mute. Ah, perfectly lovely opener here. We get to go Hood into Zero into Ma into Beast all of our friends back. tough about the current metagame in my mind is that the current metagame the Professor X decks don't have really strong stats which means what likely will happen is nothing will change because they'll just look at it and be like this isn't overperforming even if it's toxic and popular Chucky Ducky, thanks for the brand new primer. Appreciate it. Like a moon girl, please. There she is. There she is. of an apocalypse though. Twenty one, and then we're plus twelve in the middle. Got him by one point. Easy game. Victory. What beast fairy is that? That one released uh, Friday, I believe. It's a new one. So sad. Well, I never noticed Ma gets a little like spitty around the sides. That's his last turn. But it's fine, it's not his actual last turn because we have Sora. Actually, I just do this, right? Perfect, actual best draw.
and just drew a Chavez, so they're very dead. Victory. Well, so far, our create one sevens that we copy on the last turn has been running well. Uh, Dark Dimension's much better for them than us, I'm gonna leave. Escaped. This seems better for us than them. I don't know. I'm gonna stay. Is a quality B split. I think I'm doing this so that way next turn I can hood Viper the Sinister London. This works how I want, right? Oh, kind of a insane perfect set for what we're trying to do here. So they've literally filled their hand in its entirety with swarms. And now we're going to take their board and clutter it up. Okay, so they have Chavez and five swarms in their hand. So this one's the game every time.
I like to cook. I do enjoy the act of cooking, typically. What's twenty ninety nine been in this pile? I mean, I think you're confusing the game where we had a hub twenty ninety nine, right? Big bucket. The uh, deck list is above my head. Yes. destroy a card and bring it back in the valley that's true but drawing cards doesn't really help me with anything right i guess i could go wolf into nico into zero and then it ping pongs the wolf around a little bit maybe maybe that's fine I think, I think I'm just supposed to beast. Oh, there's a Shuri deck with a bad draw. This is seven. This is six. Thirteen puts me to seventeen. Then I can hood to pull the werewolf back right, which leaves me with eleven there. It's good enough to stay. Snapping the back. No, Sunspot's not a typical card in the Shuri deck. But I could be doing something a little off better here. Honestly, I think I'd rather have the zero than the than the lizard.
They give me an extra mod, an extra zero. stats to get through this, right? Twenty-five. Escaped. Probably should shove a Shadow King in here. I guess they're on Luke Cage, so it wouldn't even really matter in this particular matchup. Hey, thanks for the seven months, Boldy. Welcome back. Appreciate it. is S tier. It's very good. Hollow in the middle. So they're going to get plus three on the left when they play Luke Cage putting the 16. They're going to get plus two on the left or plus four on the left from the double nebula triggers. I think we do this and then we just Chavez. What's it called over here on the last turn? They did soak three to beat us on the left. Why is just Shuri with a bunch of weird tech cards? I was say Elysium's not terrible for us, but it's very good for them with Sunspot. Hey, 
Uh, Blue Thrill, good to have you here for a live one. Glad you enjoy the YouTube stuff. Oh, Viper. Oh, my beast got hit. I wanted to, I wanted to go Viper into beast. Can't. Sedge. How does this work? Hood's demon goes to my hand. Nico Hood go to my hand. Werewolf doesn't have space, stays here. Yeah, hand size, hand size keeps the wolf in my hand. Or the wolf in play. If I go Sauron into Nico. Copy my demon into Moon Girl. They could Legion us this turn. Yeah, that's true. This beats Legion, right? Wait, does it? Did I miss? Did I miss do that? He jumps to here. No, I did this right. And then he jumps to the middle. Oh, we're gonna lose because of the fucking sunspot. God damn it. Oh, I ran out of time. That's so frustrating. Ah, I'm so mad at myself. We finally had a game and everything's been going well. It's just like... Ah, come up literally one fucking point short. I would have, if I would have ended Nico on the right, we win the game and they just get completely embarrassed. All right, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Take two minutes and shake it off. Escape. <sighs> Marvel Snap is really fun. Do da, do da. Marvel Snap is really fun. Oh, the do da day.
Hey, that wasn't even really a math, a morning math brain failure. It just was a really short timer on an end, at an end turn where I had a lot of choices to make and then a snap changed all of my decision-making process halfway through. So I had to reassess with less than half the turn timer. And honestly, that, that's one of the reasons why something I think Marvel Snap really needs to do is readjust their turn timer. Like, it's ridiculous, in my opinion, that like, on a turn like this, I can't ever get extra time on a chess timer style thing where I actually have to make a bunch of good decisions. Um, but like, people can sit there and rope me without punishment on turns one and two when they don't need any extra time. Like the, the incentives and how you're allowed to use your clock, your clock just really don't make sense with their current structure, especially in Conquest. You should, you should be allowed to bank extra time for your complicated turns by playing quickly during the easy turns. Oh, snap. Hey Duffy, thank you for the 24 months. I appreciate that. BKU, thank you for the over three and a half years. What's going on Afterthought? I appreciate the almost three years. Well, the ability to back out pressing end turn is something they've expressed they want to add already. They just have a tech, tech technology limitation for that. What's going on, Debo? Let's get you a sword to go with that shield. Welcome back. So again, for people that don't keep up on all of the snap news, the second dinner team has expressed they would like for you to be able to hit undo all actions even after you've even after you've locked your turn to be able to get back into it and do things like having it automatically bump you back out when um, your opponent snaps. Those aren't those aren't they don't want to do those things. Those are they haven't figured out how to do those things in their current tech stack. Going on clamps appreciate the quarter of a year welcome back do this this way, if I draw Ebony Maw next turn, I could go zero the Maw, beast it back. 
going on, Chaos? Thank you for the entire year. Welcome back. Day late and a dollar short on that one, unfortunately. We're just gonna have kind of a quiet stream for the rest of the stream because I think being quiet is better content than me endlessly complaining about the current state of the game. So I'm just gonna kind of just chill and play games and it is what it is. Okay, Echo gets to smack our lizard. We get to draw a couple of cards. You're saying there's a chance. It's not the beast I wanted for Christmas, gamers. I have room for this, unfortunately. I think it's Sauron, so that way if I draw Ebony Maw, I can Moon Girl it. Now do I have room?
Yeah, we're playing Conquest until at least one o'clock today if we stream that long because I don't really want to play the feature location. decks you'd recommend uh yeah i think a lot of like the goblin hawk decks are fine kitsune if you look on the hoglandia snap channel there's a uh, there's some up there that we had worked on Is this crazy? I kind of want to draw Beast. Yes! I do have a main escape code that's still active. You check them out there. I do still have a flex of spot sponsor. As a heads up, uh, take a look at what they have going on, but they're gonna have a uh, sale coming up here soon. For the, for Black Friday. I guess the New York gets a little sketchy here, but I think that's fine. I am Iron Man. Old-fashioned New York coin flip. When you have two zero fourteens and you're still just like sigh, can we win this game? Mojo. Oh, 
It's a living tribunal? We've much like the United States, we've lost the right. CXCV, thank you for the three quarters of a year. Welcome back. This just in. You see this shit, chat? This right here? This is why people think Loki is unfair. Because they put Rogue in their onslaught deck. <laughs> You want to double rogue the left. Um, I think that's worse than doing this, right? This pulls a Titania over. Oh, you Viper left for Timebreaker, sure. This pulls a Titania over. They go to 12. We go to 18. And then I have 16 Victory. power worth of lizards over here. Seems criminally underplayed. I am certainly a moon girl, Stan. You don't gotta you don't gotta tell me. What's going on, Jurge? 611 months. Welcome back. Thank you for the 62 months. What's a prison break? Did Splinter Twin and Mind Sculptor finally get unbanned? Mind Sculptor's been legal for a while. Is this the deck you posted on Twitter, Jeff? Instead of typing that question in my chat, isn't it significantly easier to just open my Twitter and look at the deck list that I posted and see if it matches the one on your screen?
No need to be rude. Listen, gamers. If you think me suggesting you should learn how to fish instead of spoon feeding you like my fucking toddler, you think is rude, this is not a good culture fit for you as far as Twitch channels go. Apologies for expecting a modicum of effort. Thanks for the sub, Gift Niv. All right, so, and we're just playing for breakers anyways. I should play this here. So the nebula doesn't get smaller. I got got by something like Mr. Fantastic, but otherwise I think we can stay here. Yeah. Victory. Yeah. If I move Nico into the middle, I end up on seven here and only 17 here. And then I lose to literally any three drop plus surfer. So that's a terrible play. We'd much rather just play the Chavez and play for breakers, which I think we're likely to win. Zero into Ebony Maw into Beast Back by free seven power thing. Sarah deck, which is pretty scary on the Project Pegasus. this season's card back. I think this season's card back is my favorite of all time. It's really well done. Okay, so in theory, they're plus 16 in the middle, which is a lot to say the least. But if I do this, and then next turn we go whatever we draw plus demon, and then we end on Chavez Ebony Maw.
Did they hit the 25%er on their surfer? What do we think? Every time? No, this is a one drop, right? Yeah, I got him. Victory. I inferred that they likely didn't have Surfer there because if they have Surfer on turn five, they probably don't play Gambit. Switch Chavez at Ebony Ball. There was a goose on the left. I couldn't play Chavez left. I think I want these in my hand as zero cost. So I can spike Moon Girl next turn. My moon girling here. I'm not sure that I am, actually. What if I do this? And then next turn, we just go Ma to Tanya Chavez. They play anything here, we retain priority. Or they retain priority, so you don't have to worry about Killmonger. Do you want Murray Power? I was trying to duck priority, but they didn't play right. Moon Girl Demon is more than Chavez. It is, isn't it? It's worse against Killmonger, though. I think I take the play that's better into Killmonger for one less point. They would have Debula if they were on Killmonger. This game is Marvel Snap. I'm not sure how much you've played and how many people you've played against on the ladder, but... Up 9. This has me up 11. This has me up 14. This has me up 14. 
You already all in about it. They hedge the center. Would I have lost if they made the right play? If they would have played both of these here, they would have had 14, 18. No, we were still winning. Yeah, I think I think their proper play is Mobius, Moon Knight, Surfer here. But I was still covered because I played the Titania middle. I don't know. I guess I guess they were concerned about like mostly giving up Murray, but I don't think I could compete there. Thanks for the 55 months, Sappho. Welcome back. At least this pile of cards is going well. Moon Girl, cheap cost, high power. It's a Sauron deck that's not playing Shuri. Going on, boom. Thanks for the 10 months. I think I'm vibing this turn. Perfect. Snap. Victory. Rats. The zero by Maw, Beast the back, and then be able to Moon Girl copy your zero uh, Beasted Maw, Beasted Zeroed Maw. What we're what we're going for? As BL Juice, BL Juice is good. A lot of and a lot of fun with it. The graph. Thank you for the 29 months. Welcome back. I can't remember the last uh, adult themed show I went to that had some fourth wall breaks, but the fourth wall breaks were well done. Any tips for someone who hasn't actively played SAP since February? It's getting back into it. Yeah, my number one suggestion is definitely uh, keep an eye out for my video tomorrow morning is going to be reviewing upcoming spotlight caches and talking about the ones that I think are the best and why. The spotlight cache system is kind of your catch-up mechanic for um, acquiring acquiring more cards. Beetlejuice with adult theme. No joke, there were several families there with children younger than mine. And like all things considered, I think I'm a pretty laid back and easygoing parent, but I could not fathom taking my six or seven or five year old to that show. Okay, so we go Nico, Wolf Jumps, Beast picks these up, Kicks Middle, Wolf Jumps.
I think it would be a very appropriate show for a teenager. If you're fine. If you're fine with your kids swearing. I don't think. I don't think it's inappropriate for someone in that age bracket at all. All right, and with the magic here, I think we do this. I guess we could be getting leeched next turn. Not that that really matters. The problem is I can't Moon Girl copy the Maw this turn, right? I'm assuming this is a leech based on the snap. It's a damn shame too, because our hand was so absurd if we actually got to play the game. Darkness, my old friend. How it sucks to meet with you again. Do 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 and then we lose to, we lose whichever lane they play Infinite in, and then we beat She-Hulk in the other. So She-Hulk puts them to 36 here, meaning I need to put nine into here. Right? And then this beats She-Hulk right, and this beats She-Hulk middle. Right, She-Hulk here is 36. We're going to 38. Yeah, yeah. One of the number one questions I ask, get asked as a country creator is, Jeff, how do I get better at Marvel Snap? Victory. This is how you get better at Marvel Snap. This is, this is the thing you need to be able to do. You need to be able to look at the cards your opponent has played and know their likely output range. You need to know that these cards mean that they're playing Infinite plus She-Hulk. And then you need to count to be sure you can beat that with certainty. So with this finish, my opponent was unable to win here with our plays. They had no different sequences that could beat us. Marvel. Marvel Snap is one of the reasons why I gener generally like the game. Is It is a game that rewards you for that metagame knowledge more than anything else. Yes, yeah, so you have to both be able to count and have deep metagame knowledge. What if you can't? If you can't count... Um, I would recommend checking out my best decks video and picking one of the Professor X plus Eliath decks. And that honestly is one of the reasons why those decks are so popular is Professor X and Eliath are cards that make the end game counting really easy, right? Like the only thing you have to predict or count is do they have something that beats me when I'm killing all of their plays this turn. Like those decks are so straightforward and simple. It's one of the reasons why they're so popular. It's easier to do well with them because the amount of counting and permutations you have to account for is incredibly small. This 
Gloria. Thank you for the two years. Welcome back. Appreciate it. Is Miss Marvel replaceable in them? You can replace Miss Marvel with one crisp $10 bill mailed directly to Benjamin Brood. Speaking of crisp $10 bills, chat, I would like to farm perhaps one entire one of those even by pressing this button. Remember, if you want to dodge the adverts on this channel, you can always subscribe even for free with Prime Gaming. But as always, you'll never miss any gameplay when I run ads here. We'll be back with more Marvel Snap at 120 seconds. Thanks for hanging out. Don't go anywhere. You're watching on the YouTube side. We got 250 viewers over there and only 158 like button pressers. Consider finding that button. When your significant other told me you couldn't find the button, I defended you. Don't prove me wrong. Find it and snap it. Have an advert on the YouTube side as well. Mysterious Mr. Box. Thank you for the brand new Prime. I appreciate that. All right, we tried, we tried Moon Sword on. I feel like I can stamp a, I feel like I can thoroughly stamp and exceeds expectations on this one, huh? Or infinite away from a good Sauron split. How about Ebony Maw? Oh man, do I technically have enough boosters to go for an Inked Maw? I do, right? This is 120 and then these are 180. I'll have, to, I'll have to add him to my list of my list of bad cards. Where okay, Chad, this is where does Ebony Maw go on this list? It's he definitely does not get filed under good cards. I'm inclined to put him. I'm inclined to put him here. I feel I feel I feel like it. I feel like he deserves to. He's not like Namor bad, but like. I feel like he's solidly in, like, the Medusa Human Torch bracket, right? Like, there's shades of bad, but I'm gonna- I'm gonna put him in- I'm gonna put him in the bad category. Band of Xandar, thanks for the half a year. For people that don't subject themselves to Twitter, if you missed my sweet splits from the weekend, we got the God Tier split on the Whale Enchantress. Gold background with Kirby Crackle to match the nameplate. I also hit gold on gold on gold on my She Hulk. And we've seen we've seen the beast a little bit. This is gold with rainbow crackle. Also, also a very S tier split. I spent I spent some money this weekend, Chad. I was feeling gambling. Got this one. We got this one as well. It's been, a, it's been a while since I added this much shiny to my collection. Now this was off stream, Chad. I was feeling sad about the meta game, so we did a little retail therapy. Hey, Janzika, thank you for the five months. Valis, it's been a year of subs. I say this almost every time I pop in here. Between you and day nine, you bring a rich mindfulness to gaming that's refreshing and feels genuine. Thanks for the year I've been watching. Here's to another. Valis, let's get you a sword to go with that shield. Here's to, here's to another indeed. Is he the new century variant that shot from Kim? I really don't. This is, this is the best century variant by a lot, in my opinion buy a lot. I also think uh, Black Stardust with an ink finish is pretty S tier, so I don't, think, I don't think this one's moving anytime soon. Do I have any other pile of bad cards I wanted to play today? We can give this a try again. Speaking of, speaking of my century. Alright, let's be, let's be disappointed by this one. And then we'll, uh, We'll look at something else. I'm going to get a lot of use out of this century split and bury it when Annihilus drops here soon, right?
Hello, darkness, my old friend. How it sucks to meet with you again. I'm not gonna show them which dark hawk deck I am. I'm gonna leave. Escape. Uh, Jeff, not related question. I've heard you say you don't upgrade cards to have enough boosters to inked or gold them, but didn't second error confirm you're more likely to receive boosters for cards you don't have enough boosters for the next upgrade? Yeah, that's confirmed, but it's like a pretty minimal additional chance, and I'd rather have my cards be aesthetically pleasing and match everything else from the get-go rather than have a very minimal chance to get, get what I'm looking for sooner. Yeah, it's, it's 2 out of 13 instead of 1 out of 12. Maze, thank you for the 15 months. Appreciate that. Welcome back. Yeah, yeah, needing needing boosters to upgrade my cards is not really a thing for me either. Is also accurate. You see, did you see my list I had on screen a second ago? These are these are all cards I have enough boosters on from here down to get inked or gold splits on that I just don't have enough credits for. It's basically always the case. How does Hawk with Clintar work? Clintar snapshots at current power, so I'm gonna get a 22 power thing here. Is why I snapped. Shang-Chi. Please be Shang-Chi. The fuck out of my game! Blade, thank you for the 15 months. I appreciate it. Welcome back. Just this. I know that drawing two cards is super useful. Getting this out proactively is not super appealing into their Urshing Chi deck either, though.
I think they're gonna Professor X somewhere. Maybe. Oh, and this is the this is the squeeze, right? You either eat shit to Professor X or you eat shit to Shang Chi. So if I just like play a big thing, I just die. Hey, look! Look at how incredibly skill-based this game was. I flipped a coin and won! Yay! Yay! I'm so good at Marvel! I'm so good at Marvel, chat! You wish you were as good as me. Hell you. I just like, I, a lot of people, when I talk about these types of decks and this gameplay, I think a lot of people think I just don't like losing. And it's really just not the case. It's just like these gameplay patterns are just so deeply unsatisfying even when I win. Like, I don't feel like I made interesting choices or outplayed my opponent or did something remotely skillful. I just like played my card and happened to land in their Professor X lane. It's just like, yeah, we won, I guess. But like, I felt, I felt kind of scammed. Morning, RD monkey. Victory. It's actually so, and one interesting metric to show. So I was I was tweeting some of these over the weekend as I was checking things. Is that despite? Oh, it doesn't have the. And this is God, un untapped interface on this is so awkward. So. Meta, I change this. Hard refresh. Can I change this up here? I can change this from 100 to 100, I think, right? And then it changes. Okay, yeah. Cool. I didn't, I didn't realize I could just edit the URL. That's not too bad then. Um, so the, the thing about these cards are. A lot of these, they don't, they don't even have that many good, their win rate and their average cubes isn't even that high is the, is the thing, but it's just like, they're so popular and the play, the play patterns, um, are, are just tough for how popular that they are. And I don't, I don't know that I expect any changes to any of these just based on the metrics, right? Like, I don't know, if you're going off pure power level, I don't know that you could justify making any, any swaps there. Stevie Bats, thank you for the third of a year. Welcome back. Peace Zone, appreciate the four months as well. I get the beast blood. I wailed a little bit over the weekend. Breaking news. I'm gonna vibe on you so I can go you into you, you. Our pretty lady chat. 
Can I win the game with the cards I already have in my hand? Yeah, I think I can, right? Especially with the Vibranium Mines, or with the Nico Minaru draw. I do this, and then I get to play Darkhawk next turn. And they just, like, can't play here. Maybe I'm just supposed to give them to... Maybe I'm supposed to, like, try and take one more draw. So I get, like, a Korg, that would be nice, right? Or a Beast, maybe. From the Daily Bugle. This just in. Ha. Huh. If I do this now. Hold on to the Shadow King. Another Jeff style card that could ignore Professor X's face. Yeah, I would kind of like it if they'd change Carol to uh, be able to jump in there. would be sweet. This would mean I end on Wolf Sentry, right? But I think that's fine, huh? And then I go like Shadow King here, Darkhawk Middle. Do you like how expertly I outplayed my opponent there, chat? <sighs> oh no! So anyways... Victory. We did sap already, yeah. Vibing on you for now, because you could move my wolf. Oh, I forgot to play there. You go to hood for the hood to become a demon. So if the hood becomes a demon, it doesn't move the werewolf. And I'm currently kind of looking to be greedy so I could draw cards. I haven't seen Shag out of them yet. Do I do this so they can't Professor X me for free? I think so. Snap. Snap them. The Beast variant is lovely, I agree. 
Sort of that. This is one of the pieces of art I've been waiting on for a while. It's happy to have it get here. Oh, guessed wrong this time. Is this crazy? Just like play to beat a life? It's turn five. Yeah, chat. I'm playing to beat a life by making sure I'm ahead going into turn six. by trying to make sure I'm ahead going into turn six. I think the odds their deck has something big too and the, the right is low. I'm gonna play Sentry instead. Victory. They run Chavez. I Black Widowed them this last turn chat. They didn't draw Chavez if they have it. There's a, there's a chance they're a Chavez deck. I will do this, I suppose. Do this. Maybe I do nothing so I can go wolf into this, this. Okay, I'm actually going to do nothing. Yeah, but a curiosity are usually many Europeans watching your stream. Yeah, usually my metrics have a good amount of Europeans. Yeah, clearing the flooding is good for us here for sure. still count as Europe after Brexit? Asking the real questions. How well trained is my Viper? Very, but we also might be Vipering the negative zone. This might be Sentry left into Viper Hawk middle. Because remember, wherever I Viper, the Wolf is also going to end up at.
And then unfortunately we're just dead to Eliath raid, so I can't stay. We haven't gotten anybody, Jet. Oh, they didn't have it. God bless. Maybe we're supposed to stay because of the Korg and the Black Widow. I forgot that they had six cards in their deck still. They're only about 50% to have it. Yeah, maybe statistically we're supposed to stay there. The Void does look good, Inked. You're not wrong. Fear of Eliath is really, really annoying. So, I think the framing of your statement there really highlights kind of a core fundamental problem that you and a lot of people have about Marvel Step. I didn't retreat to Eliath there because I'm afraid of it. I, ret I retreated that game because it was statistically correct in most situations to retreat there. Retreating or staying in games has nothing to do with fear and everything about having a basic understanding of statistical odds. A lot of people take retreating and other things like that to be this very emotional thing when that's not what it should be at all. Oh, snap. A snap double ice ban here. I show courage by never retreating, yeah. Uh, do I actually need the extra one here? I don't, right? Because I just want to go wolf into hood next turn. chance of donating wolf no the wolf jumps after the on reveal is fully done right so she should she should donate both and the wolf jumps yeah, that was that was my understanding Put their Medusa to two and then put 18 into the center here with our demons. We're doing Conquest for deck brand. I'm doing Conquest. There's a feature location today. We'll probably play some ladder after one o'clock. Need to beat Doom on the left. That is an accurate statement. Hoping to draw Darkhawk here. A chance of Loki Wolf today. No, I really don't. I really didn't like playing the Loki deck the last time we played it. Just didn't mesh for me. Am I supposed to play the Black Widow? Zero chance. They some of these decks play Gamora, right? It's 
If they move Iron Lad, play Gamora, they go to 616. Black Widow ties Doom left with Lad mid. They don't have space for that, so that's not a thing. I think I, think I do nothing because of Gamora. Hey, contents baby hot. Thanks for the 12 months. Appreciate that. Welcome back. You are one of the few Gamora players. I don't think that's true. I think if I look on, I gotta, I gotta make me look on tap. I thought, I thought the Guardians core had Gamora in it still for some amount. Yeah, yeah. The most, the most popular build is playing Gamora. Three most popular builds, sorted by uh, game count. Second most popular build is not the one, three out of the four most popular. I think, I think playing around Gamora on that end turn is correct. You would say Gamora users are usually Daredevil gamers. Uh, yeah, that tracks. Looks like it. Looks like that tracks. Vibing on my cheap on reveals after we put the werewolf in play. Oh my god. Oh my god. Snap. I'm gonna start him here in case there's a location we can't play to. to turn, honestly. Wolf goes here. 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 Beast goes here. That's terrifying. I probably should have set this up to bounce the Nico and not the Iceman, right?
Zeros can go right, yes. I want to hold on to the right, though, because I could technically send a, uh... I could technically send, uh, Sentry. If I draw Sentry, I can Sentry into Viper next turn. Yeah, unfortunately, I think there's just too many cards that beat us here, and they drew their whole deck, so I'm gonna leave. Our deck. Our deck, uh, was kind of... Our deck kind of did stuff, but their linear stuff was much better than ours, I think. Especially with Shadow King and my deck, we'll be in a position to win games that are more likely than this, and then you factor in the New York Shuffle. Even if I had priority, the New York beads with the Shadow King still questionable at best. Yes, there is assuredly an Artem Zolodek. They're a Killmonger deck. So I don't want to start by just playing this into here. I think I'm going to actually open Hood, Widow, Beast in the middle. The bar is still very bad for them, and Gulia is good for us, right? Wait, did they just not play the Widow's Bite? Why didn't they play? I understand they're setting up a Zola, but why didn't they play the Widow's Bite? What am I, what am I missing there? Oh, they think they're going to win the left with it. Got it. They, they didn't realize I was bouncing the hood. So they're going to have, this is 24, 29 here. My Hawk is currently 16. They get to draw a card next turn, zombie.
mean, they're definitely playing Zola left givers. Oh, but it's going to be a demon. If I hood middle, it takes six off of here. Which puts this to 22, 27. I can only I can only tie them, right? Yeah, I can also demon something else first. Yeah, I gotta go again. Escaped. You can put a Nihilus in your Moon Girl Clutter deck. No. In. Thanks for the primer. Appreciate it. Oh, snap. I'm going to snap on the Subterranea. Not only are we a Darkhawk deck, but their deck needs specific combinations of cards more than our deck needs them. So I think we're probably favored here. Obviously, their starting hand could be really good, but their starting hand is reasonable. If we manage to get a little bit lucky and draw Hawk, we're like super good to go. The car is really bad for us. Almost hoping to pull a rock, honestly, so we can keep our on reveals. energy on turn four. Solid draw, or a solid Nico roll, I should say. I think if they don't leave, it's like Rock, Sentry, Korg. card it becomes a demon um 
With no wolf in sight, I think I just do this. I guess this is mediocre against uh, Killmonger. Sentry on four, Viper on five. It's their carnage. They could they could be a Deathlock gamer, but not a guarantee. I don't think their deck is capable of just like filling up the right side here. I mean, I don't have anything I could draw next turn that would stop me from playing all of these. So I think we just do this and then we wait on these. I have, uh, I guess if I draw a Shadow King, there's a world where I want a Shadow King. So maybe I do just Korg the middle. My Shadow King next turn if I draw it? I probably don't need to, right? I'm gonna have priority anyways. How much power worth of stuff has died? What did this Carnage eat? This Carnage ate an X-23 and a Yondu? And then they shang would me? So that's 14 power null. Plus four on the beast, so 18 power null. 18 power null puts them to plus 14 here. This is 12 between the two of these. I'm at 16. What a fucking joke. That's so frustrating. Counting on that being their last card, I would have. I would have. The frustrating part is, I would have won if I would have played the demon on the right. I would have won the game if I would have played the demon on the right. I really don't feel like playing a two to eight, and it's about time to run ad, so I'm just gonna go ahead and bounce. Escaped. Non subs, we'll catch you in 120 seconds. Thanks for hanging out. Don't go anywhere. Vikaru, thank you for the 11 months. If you're watching on the YouTube side, consider tapping the like button on the stream. I just don't know how I'm ever supposed to play around that. I just can't, right? Just such a random pile of cards. What's going on, C Breezy? Thanks for the toll. It's just, that's uh, the toughest part about the meta game being mediocre is that even when we hit off meta things, it just feels exhausting. Like, it feels like there's no. 
feels like there's it's just it's it sours even that. No, it's terrible. If deck lists like that one are why there's so many bots pre-infinite, so they can boost people up and let them post post things like that. Aramu, thanks for the primer. Did they finally send the- is that what the notification is here for me? Is it not a fan's notification? Hey, look at that! There is actually a survey. They fix it. Let's do a- let's do a survey together, chat. What on, Energy Gaming? Thanks for the entire year. Welcome back. Get your sword to go with that shield. Where of all of the things? Chat, fill out the survey and put my name in here. Fill out the sur fill out the survey and put my put my name in here. Which social media site? Twitch, YouTube, formerly Twitter. <laughs> uh, reasoning about knowledge. Overall, how satisfied or unsatisfied are you at the Marvel Stamp first anniversary events? Twitch drops. I'm going to put somewhat satisfied because they can always give me more community voted variant. We got the one I wanted. Discord Nitro. I'm going to put somewhat unsatisfied on that one because it was like this awkward promo where people had to sign up and give them a credit card. I think the login rewards were fine, but they can always give me more. <laughs> Always more, chat. More! Others. I got the variant I voted for. Would probably be salty otherwise. Which of the following makes you satisfied with Twitch drops? Uh, easily get the reward I want without much effort or time. Event rules are clear.
How long is this thing? Are you gonna be here for a minute? God, we're almost done. Makes you satisfied with the login rewards. Yep, stuff. Jared, I need I need all of you to do a solid. I need you to come here and click this button, okay? Tell them we want more free Twitch drops. I actually really don't want more community voting stuff, even though we got the one that I wanted. I feel like it created a lot of animosity within what people were doing. I'll be curious to see if people click that they want more events like Conquerors. I feel like this could be kind of hit or miss and the rule set on the last one was real awkward. The best air rock. Thank you for the year and a half. Welcome back. I think the recaps are good. Login bonuses. Well, I could only check so many of these. I mean, how many of these can I check? I only get three. I only get three. Well, definitely Twitch drops. I don't give a shit about your recap event if I have to choose between that and free stuff. All of the free stuff, please. Do you have any other suggestions for future Marvel Stamp anniversary events in general? More free stuff. Spools be direct, Chad. Don't beat around. Don't beat around the bush. I was kind of surprised the August event felt more impactful than uh, than the anniversary event. Yeah, I thought it was weird too that the PC launch had more more Twitch drops than the one year anniversary. Do you agree with that? Opponent snapped. I'm not gonna step back because they might be about to like echo me. Cerebro 2 probably can't put more points here. <clears throat> so if I just Mystique by Onslaught and then play Miss Marvel and get 33 in the middle, 12 probably wins here, right? Smash. They have Nightcrawler. Crawler gets me. I 
And they move Nightcrawler left. And they go to 14 left. And then they go Cerebro Mystique here. They're at 16. This is only 11. <sighs> they might also Nightcrawler middle. This beats Nightcrawler middle. The Deadpool bundle is fine. Not good, but fine. It's better than buying credits for gold. It's worse than some other bundles. If you like the art, it's a fine pickup. Mr. Zala, thanks for the half a year. Welcome back. The average Sunspot deck is a Leech deck. It's something to keep in mind in the current format. An insane amount of paranoia among many content creators about the fact that they're getting stream sniped constantly. I want to make one thing abundantly clear. I include myself in what I am about to say, but essentially every content creator that you watch that accuses their opponents of stream sniping is getting stream sniped way less frequently I than they imply. Man. Nine times, nine times out of 10, the person accusing their opponent of stream sniping is just being a salty little bitch because they just lost a game of Marvel Snap. Leech. That's exciting. 
I laughed at your Twitter thread asking for content creators who don't play ads over content or put up a block and then there are recommendations of streamers that do exactly that. Yeah, I couldn't tell if they just didn't understand the assignment or what, but I thought that was amusing too. <laughs> I also chuckled. What made you buy the Typhoid Berry variant? It sparked joy. I get stream sniped all the time and I don't even stream, dude. Y'all, yeah, all the, the non-ultimate berry variants are very mid leg. She interests me, Daddy. I'm not snapping just so I don't want to lose a bunch of cubes to a tech card if I can avoid it. Yeah, just like figure out what they're doing. Is it risky to play the thing right instead of in case they lie? Ooh, that's a good shout. Okay, so Rogue is their tech card of choice. I'd be dead. We're quite big enough to beat 24 in the middle, are we? Ooh, close. All right, so probably don't need to play around in Chantress. With Rogue shown. Yeah, our super scroll will be a good one to step into at some point, hopefully. want to set up behind Cosmo here. Oh, snap. Be a button pusher. Got three more draws, only five cards in my deck. that can give us a redraw. Into Mystique might be enough. Maybe the tough part about that is uh, it exposes us to Rogue.
36 on the left. Kamala is another 20 over here. So we're going to gain 56. Three a lot. Okay, I think we're I think we're hopefully good here. The mystery intrigues me. Get the casserole here. Oh, it's the second six on the left. Yeah, that's true. That's still the right play, but good call it. I forgot that we were gonna lose that. Do I plan on watching the Marvels? Yeah, I watch all the MCU stuff eventually. We know the entire contents of their deck at this point. Let's nip that one in the bud. Yeah, Polaris is a little atypical for their archetype, for sure. She's a pretty generically good card, though. into Iron Man, into Mystique. Alternatively, I could go scroll here, Iron Man, and then Cosmo here, but that leaves it exposed for a turn, right? Yeah, if I leave, if I leave it exposed, they're going to rig it. Well, shit. <laughs> I'm gonna get greedy here and go Iron Man, Mystique, Cosmo, I think. Going on, do Brigger. Appreciate the two thirds of a year. Welcome back. I am Iron Man. Wait, I could use um. The problem is if I move him to New York this turn, he dodges Rogue this turn, but then he doesn't dodge Rogue next turn, right? Is the issue. Okay, then correct me if I'm wrong. Oh, wait. I was just saying if I move it this turn. I can't move this turn because it's only on that turn. Huh? I'm not sure Tribunal actually wins here. I was thinking my brain is bad. I was thinking I could move something here, but I can't. And Marvel doesn't put points into the middle because I've got two, two threes here. Yeah, I don't think Tribunal's enough either. It's 36, 48, 50. 50 divided by 3 is 17 everywhere. Is 17 everywhere enough?
Hulk just beats me, does it? Tie 17 to 7, 17 to 8. Say their Hulk is 22. They'll be 30. They're up 13. Yeah. We lose to like Hulk bigger than. We lose to Hulk bigger than 18. Are you asking why risk it? I'm going to count it. I have, I have time to count it. We could, yeah, I'm like, we should count if we win, if we tie the right. The Cyclops doesn't do anything, chat. I have Luke Cage. But like, just take a second and count and see if it works out. See if there's, if there's a shot. Uh, actually, I don't think I want to zombie this game, right? So the person in chat suggesting a line rather than you suggesting a line about a previous game I've already moved on from and asking me was this better make an argument for why your play is good instead of expecting me to tell you it's bad generally speaking if I didn't take your line I either missed it or think it's worse you should focus on making a compelling argument rather than asking me to lecture you Uh, not the Iron Man I wanted for Christmas yet. Yes, we need this to be Iron Man or Miss Marvel. Oh, Miss Marvel doesn't even do it, right? Because I don't have anything left and right. If this hits magic, it's actually kind of awkward. Maybe, maybe they'll magic for us. Three weeks ago, you were playing negative. You opted to play Iron Man. Can you explain that? Yep. I am God! Truly, truly skill-based Marvel Snap Gaming. He's a good, he's a good lad, chat. He's a good lad. Sometimes lucky, rubber ducky. A golden god, an inked god, an inked god. Hey, we played for that's true. We had a we had a wave who gave her life for the cause. You know who else gives their life for the cause? Well, two minutes of their life for the Hoglandia cause. The people watching all these adverts. I'm going to run to the bathroom. We'll be back in 120 seconds with our final round to see if we can scrape up an infinity ticket here. Don't go anywhere. Drosh on the YouTube side. Don't forget to tap the like button. You can have an advert as well.
Yeah, it's so earlier it's like negative tribunal. That's where a lot of people thought he would go originally. Back when he was uh Dynamite to be a 6-3. Like, I like where tribunals ended up in overall. You'll get there, Solo. Slow and steady. It's, uh, it's like limbo to me. Our deck's pretty solid into Sandman stuff. Could be Shuri, I suppose, too, with the armor. We just have to go here, unfortunately. No reason to pay them out here when the locations are good for them. Escaped. He's cooking. Who's cooking? The person playing the stock Shuri list or me playing a mostly stock Living Tribunal ramp deck? Makes me, makes me think, a comment makes me think of like I'll click into a stream and the stream channel will say something about cooking and they're playing just like one of the most stock basic decks you can play in the format. It's just like, all right, I've been baited. I won't click into that stream again. Hey, Thrax TV. Thanks for the primer. Appreciate it. These are going to move. That's nice. A lot of our hits here are good with this. I'm going to go ahead and drop out your light and see what we get. Could have been uh, worse, I suppose. In general, Thrax, if you have similar amounts of both collector's tokens and spotlight caches, prioritizing using caches to get Series 5 cards and tokens to get Series 4 cards is ideal, I think. I just continue retreating here. 
Just kind of wait for our scary. position. My hands have been awkward. Hey, Arctic, hope your honeymoon is going well. Happy Monday. Probably stappable, honestly. Kinda, kinda just need a living tribunal. And we go crazy. You get S4s in boxes. No, you no longer get S4s from collector's reserves. They changed that when spotlights are introduced. All series four and five are from spotlights. Kamala, Iron Man, Onslaught, Tribunal. Call it a day. Does the stock Soran build have room for Enchantress? It often does, yeah. Which that's, uh, that's fair. do this to jockey for priority potentially and then uh, be able to Cosmo on the left. Just the person playing Lee Jan, I have no idea. I can't tell if this is that I have a tech card snap or not. It could just be them snapping because they're beating us in two of the three. I don't know. If they have Enchantress, I don't think we're winning the matchup anyways. So let's just be done with it. Average, average conquest experience. Decks like decks like this one are notably very bad into conquest because you do get somewhat pseudo hard countered by individual tech cards. Conquest, conquest as a whole tends to be a much more narrow format than uh, than the latter does. Conquest definitely needs structural changes to make it so you feel like you can play a variety of things.
We have Gladiator in 45 minutes. No new cards release on Tuesdays. Don't you need to say you got stream sniped? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's... You basically have to be sniping to figure out you should play Enchantress into my ongoing path. That's a, that's a fair take. I should have I should have blocked my screen on turn six so they didn't see the line. I think Gladiator has potential to be good in Surfer, Werewolf, and likely nowhere else. Wind, aid my hand. Why would Gladiator be useful in Shuri? Why wouldn't you just like power up a different, better big card? Genuinely, genuinely confused by the this card could be good in Shuri suggestion.